Dear Ivy, you are by my side now since three years and I can clearly remember the moment I saw your picture at the Animal Rescue page for the very first time. What should I say? I just fell in love with you right in that moment. Life gave you a rough start on the streets of Romania. You were only one year old, exhausted but full of hope. Like some part of you already knew that you would have a great life ahead of you and it would just be a matter of time. Well, you were right about that. I contacted the rescue organization and started the adoption procedure. I read a lot of horror stories about traumatized street dogs and many people tried to talk me out of it because of the big risk. But I didn't care. I knew if I was going to have a dog, it had to be you. After two days and nights driving through Europe, you arrived in Hamburg. You were still in the transport box when we carried you into my flat. I thought you would probably be really scared and I wanted to give you a lot of time. I opened the box very slowly and you just jumped out and threw yourself right into my arms, though we had never seen each other before. After you curiously explored my flat, peed in every corner, you laid down to have a good night's sleep in your very first own bed. We were heading home on a long drive after From the first day on, it felt so natural to have you by my side, like we had known each other for a very long time. I can strongly feel the truth in that every time I look into your eyes. You have a very special kind of look, like you could see right into my soul and even deeper. I like to believe that every being has a purpose in life, a reason why it's here. And you know there are many dogs that are very good in taking care of their humans, guarding the house, hunting or playing with other dogs, but your purpose is definitely different. I like to call you the love dog and yes I can tell you take that job very seriously. You love. That is what you do in the most intense way I ever experienced. You love everybody, everywhere, at any time, if they want to or not. You are not my dog. I will never really own you and it's also the last thing I want. You are a free soul and you definitely know how to survive on your own. And I have to say, though I admire your strong willpower, sometimes it can be really horrible to discuss with you. <laughs> Also so kommt gar nichts. Nein, nein, das werden wir jetzt nicht trainieren. Wenn du sie so anschimpfst. You know, you're not always right about everything. Cats actually aren't the most horrible beings on this planet and sometimes also humans might know what they are talking about. Your stubbornness really drives me crazy sometimes. But what should I say? There might be some truth in the saying like dog, like owner. I can see myself in you. From you I learn what it means to be truly present. 
I learned to mean what I say and to allow myself to unconditionally love, but also to receive love. And you just bring so much joy and laughter in my life. My dear Ivy, my companion, my friend, I promise you that I will take care of you and be by your side until the very last moment. I promise you a safe home and an equal position in our family. With every decision that I make for my life, your voice will be heard with what you need and what you wish for. You give me so much and I will not take a single day for granted that you are by my side. Thank you. I love you. I walk away into a distance